Before we begin the video, if you haven't yet, come on down and join my Discord server. Link is down in the description. Hey guys, welcome back for our review of Seabound's 8th episode, The Tale of Benthamar. The episode starts out in the past a flashback with King Trimar and a young Kalmar. They are exploring the oceans when they come across an abandoned child who's being attacked by eels. So the king saves him and decides to take him in, whereas Kalmar just doesn't care. As Benthamar grows up, he becomes close to his father and frequently tries to get the attention of his brother, but Kalmar just doesn't really care. Eventually, Kalmar comes across a scroll that contains the location of Wajira. When he asks his father about it, he reveals that the path to the temple is very dangerous, so it's best not to go. But Kalmar decides to use his brother as a test subject, basically, just to ensure that the path there is safe and accessible. He tells Benthamar he wants to start spending time with him, which is, of course, a lie. And they are able to reach the temple, at which point Kalmar reveals that he really doesn't care about Benthamar and was just using him, and that he's expendable. The episode ends off with the ninja accepting him into their family. So yeah, usually side episodes in Ninjago can be not the best, such as the Upley episode, but this was really good. This is the kind of episode that really gives you insight into the character's past, it makes you care about them and their history. I feel like the best part of this episode isn't actually Bethabar, but rather the development for Kalmar. This episode really explores his hatred against humans and non-royal people, for lack of a better word, I guess racism, and we learn that he just completely doesn't really care about Benthamar at all, and it's not just not caring, but it's because Benthamar is not of the royal blood, he's not from this family, and as I just said, it isn't just that he simply doesn't care, he thinks that Bethabar is completely expendable. He's weak. He's just a means to an end rather than his brother and a person. I think this episode does a fantastic job exploring his disdain for his family and surface dwellers and all of it, really. He's just a horrible person. This episode makes you hate him even more, which I wasn't sure even was possible after episode six. But yeah, this character is fantastic. This episode may be about Bethabar. But the best thing it does is it really develops our main villain, Kalmar Moore. Not to say Bethabar is bad either. He's great. He's not the best side character ever. But I think this episode explores his tragic backstory really well. This idea that he has never really fit in with his family. And that Kalmar has completely neglected him. But now he's finally able to find a real family with the ninja. And obviously we'll see their relationship just continue to develop more in the coming episodes. The final scene of this episode is very good. I like how Lloyd is the one to mention that you can't choose your family because obviously that is super relevant to him. This is an idea that was briefly mentioned in season four, but it's done much better here because we actually get to see Bethabar's backstory. This episode also focuses on King Trimar too. We get to see he's a good guy. He has a lot of compassion for Bethabar, obviously, and is very close. It gives more meaning to what happened in episode 6, that final scene between these two. I will say it is a bit cliche how he's the good guy and Kalmar is the bad guy, but I like his speech about how all living things deserve compassion and to be treated equally. So yeah, he's still good. Yeah, it is a bit cliche, but it's fine. And then lastly, one of the final scenes of the flashback part is where Kalmar and Bethabar arrive at the temple, and Kalmar just throws Bethabar aside here, mentions that he doesn't really care about him at all, and a fantastic line for Bento about how he hopes that Kalmar is happy now. That's a line that just really hits hard. Here's what I don't get. If you go back to episodes 5 and 6, Kalmar's relationship with Bento seems pretty normal for the most part. But yet this flashback ends off with Kalmar saying that Bento isn't his brother. Bento is very clearly hurt by it. You'd expect that their relationship becomes strayed or destroyed. But yet it doesn't. And if Bento did forgive Kalmar, why doesn't this episode address that or include that? To me, it's just something that I don't really understand, and it doesn't really make the most sense. I felt like this episode had a very good plot. Backstory, I mean, side character backstory episodes aren't always the best, but this was definitely one of the better ones, definitely up there with the Akita episode. As for characters, definitely the star of this episode, in my opinion, was not Benthamar, but Kalmar. Of course, though, Benthamar and Trimar are both pretty good as well. There's not really too much action, which is definitely the right move after episode 7. And then there's emotion, another very strong part of this episode. It's great. We really get to feel sorry for Vetthamar and his history, and I love it. This episode will get a 9.5 out of 10 for me. Overall, I love this episode. I love the emotion. 
I think it's an episode that explores these characters very nicely. Thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, share with anyone and everyone you know. Share your thoughts on episode 8, The Tale of Bethabar, and I'll see you next time.